So I'm doing a tack haul. I'm going to film this over several days, so I'll probably be filming in lots of different outfits. But I got some stuff, mainly wraps for Milo because I want to wrap him during rehab for more compression on his ligaments. So I'll show you what I got, and I have some other stuff too, so. The first thing I got are these Saratoga bandages. I already have two pairs of these. I have a navy pair and a red pair. If you've ever seen them, I got them secondhand though, so they didn't come in the set of four. So now I have a pair of four white ones. And they're good because you can wrap them on their own as tracer wraps, like what racehorse people would do, or you can use bandage liners. So if I wanted more protection, I'd do the bandage liners, or if I just wanted the compression, I would just wrap alone. So I do a bit of both. The nice thing about these is that on the inside they have some sticky, like, almost kind of, like, glue-like material, so they don't slip. If you can see, you can kind of see it there. It's, like, clear and it's sticky, so they stay in place. And then I got another pair of bandages, which are the Escadron bandages. Um, they're kind of a similar material, kind of, but they're thicker, so they'll be a bit warmer. So, um, these ones are really good for when it's really hot out because they're so sheer. But um, these are a bit thicker, and then I also got a Scadron bandage liners to go with them. I've heard really good things about these bandages, so I just wanted to try them and see how I like them. So I'm excited to try these. These are the bandage liners that I got. You can see that it's kind of like almost a terry cloth towel material on the inside for sweat wicking. And then they're just rolled, and they provide a little bit more protection if you're wrapping. So I'm going to probably use these... Um, lots and a little less so in the summer but obviously if he's jumping and stuff I'd be more inclined to use these because they allow for more protection. So I have them on and I found the wraps to be really easy to wrap like the black ones easier than most polos. They're double lock enclosure which is pretty cool that's why the velcro is facing the other way. So let's see yeah um, obviously, like, I knew this before I bought them, but on one side, the logo is upside down because if you wrap them properly, you have to have it like that, which sucks, but whatever. And then I got these Cavalry dressage boots, and they're really mesh, and they look like they'll let a lot of air in, which is really good because a lot of boots trap a fair bit of heat. So, I'm excited to try these. I've been holding off on trying them. I've had them for a while but I didn't want to put them on when it was super rainy because they just get filthy. So I'm excited to try these finally as the weather gets better. So these are the Cavalry boots on Archie. Um, I really like them. They look like they're going to be super, super breathable and I like how squishy they are on the inside. I think they're going to be comfortable for him. And they're pretty, so that's always a plus too. So we're just going to test them out and see how we like riding in them. It's nice that the fronts are closed because um, then if he hits a pole or anything, he's less likely to get a splint, so that's good. Um, I like having a pair of dressage boots and a pair of open fronts, and I only had open fronts for a while, so yeah, this is nice. They're really cool. And then to match the dressage boots, we have the Cavalry No Turn Bell Boots. These ones have like a really nice hard backing, so I think they'll be really good for preventing shoes from being pulled. Um, and then there's the no turns, so they have the little bump on the inside. So I, I am excited to try these and do some dressage in them. Okay, and then the next the next big purchase that I got are these Ariat Heritage Contour Boots in the Sienna Brown. Um, I sold my Mountain Horse Brown Boots because Mountain Horse didn't fit me as well as the Ariats do. They're too wide in the calf. So I decided to get another pair of Ariats because I just found out they w they come in brown thanks to Jill. So I'm going to be just like Jill wearing these, but I really love brown boots and these are an even darker brown, which I like better, actually. I'm not going to wear these for a bit because I, again, don't want to get them filthy, but they're really, really pretty. The next thing I got are these Main Jane stirrup straps. They're crocodile in brown and then they have little horseshoe charms. So they're super cute and I got them to match the next item that I'm going to show you. I'm really excited to try these. They're going to look really good with the boots, I think. They're super, super cute. These are the American Equus Spurs in Azure, and I got just the bumper one because they're really soft and mild. So um, I'm going to try these instead of always carrying a crop and see how they work. Aren't they pretty, though? So pretty. And then I also got this awesome Goto cruelty-free belt. It's fake crocodile leather. As you can see, I love crocodile leather. 
Um, it's really cute. I love how wide it is. It's really good at keeping my pants on while still being comfortable, so I love it. And then these are also Godo. They're the Godo Fiona breeches in the Sage, and they're super comfortable. I have four pairs of Godo breeches, and I absolutely love them. I have a discount code that you guys can use for $10 off if you decide to try them. It's just Shelby18. Shelby18. So yeah, I recommend these. They're really comfortable and they're stylish and they're flattering. However, they do fit quite a bit differently than other breeches, so I would make sure to check out the size chart if you order them because I had to size up about two sizes for them. And then another thing that I got, which you can clearly tell that I've been running for a few weeks because they're dirty, um, I got a pair of the American Equus Elite Stirrup Irons in bronze, and I'm going to be getting another pair soon. Bean looks so cute! Not in his new halter. This is my birthday present for my mom. Good boy. Right, mom? Yes. Her friend from high school made it. Yes. And she's also the one who helped me get the job at the, the racing Joanne farm. McDonald. Yeah. Anyways, it's custom. I got to pick the colors. Leather works. And then she go. also ordered in the nameplate because it's a fancy nameplate instead of the crappy ones I usually have. But good boy, Bean, you look so handsome. Okay. These are my new Milbrook leathers that I got for galloping in, so that's why they're on my racing saddle. And I really love them. The wider part of the stirrup leather makes it so that there's more support for my weak knees. And they also pinch less than a classical thin stirrup leather because they lay flatter. Okay, so another one of my recent acquirements. Okay, so another thing that I'm going to include in this tack haul is this bag that just came in. It's from Maylort & Co. And it's a ringside backpack. So it has pretty much everything you'd ever think of that you'd need for putting stuff in when you're going to the show ring. But I'm also going to be using it for school, obviously. And I love the brown accents on the black. I think it looks really beautiful. And it's super nice quality. Like, I love the feel of it. And you can just tell how well made it is. It's really, really pretty. Holy. The photos on their website honestly didn't do this justice. I like it so much more in person. But I'm really glad that I got to try this. And I'm so excited to review it. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I like loved it from the photos when I was looking through their bags. But holy, this is just even better in person. Okay, so first of all, let's just talk about how beautifully this was packaged in the mail envelope that I just got it in. And oh my god, it oh my god, it even has my name on it. This is amazing. It gets even better. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm super excited to have this stuff. I got an eyeshadow palette from Catherine Cosmetics, a brow pen, a concealer, and a highlighter. So I'm really excited to test this out because I don't often have really nice makeup. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I picked. It's called Strength and it's really pretty. This is this is the really beautifully packaged um, highlighter. And then my brow pen also has a cute little bow on it. And then my concealer also has a cute little bow on it and it's super cute. I got it in the light skin tone. And then my brow pen is, ah, I dropped it. It also has a really cute bow on it, and I'm excited to use it because I want my brows to be on fleek. So anyone who knows me knows that I already basically live in leggings when I'm not at the barn, so to have a pair that I can ride in, I'm really excited about. These are the Aztec Diamond Equestrian Leggings, and they're super beautiful. This is the back of them. And then they have the really nice, like, sock bottoms, and... They're like kind of meshy, breathable material. So I'm really excited to try these out because I think they're gonna be really nice for riding in in the summertime, especially when it gets warm. And I'm also obviously gonna wear them to school and stuff. And a very important feature to note is that they have pockets and they're actually deep pockets, unlike a lot of girls' pants. So that is a key feature. Okay. And then the next thing are these items that I got from the Asmar Equestrian Sample Sale. And if you're a local to me, this is like a must go to sale when they have them because they're so cheap in comparison to their usual prices. This is like the only time I can afford Asmar stuff. Um, 
So this jacket was $60 and their jackets are really well made and they're usually quite a bit more pricey than that. So I got this, it's navy and it's really cute and I'm going to use it for riding in and wearing out and about. And then I also got this sun shirt and it has really nice meshy material all across the back and then on the shoulders but the whole back is nice mesh so it's going to be really nice for riding it in the summer and you can zip it up all the way to have it like a collar so it could also be shown in in the jumper ring and this is the and this is brand new at the sample sale all the stuff at the sale is brand new and i got this for 35 dollars and the tag on it says that it's like regularly 198 see look at that so that's very good deal and then this is just and then this is just one of their regular quarter zip tech shirts I really wanted one in black so I'm glad that I could find this it's a different size than what I typically wear in their stuff because their clothes fit large I've noticed there's the back of it so it's super cute and I kind of sized up a bit just because I really liked the color and then I also got this is like the same shirt basically as the other one same material and everything but it doesn't have the name asthma on the back so this is pretty much the same shirt as the one I just showed you um, except it doesn't have asthma on the back of the shirt, there's Skeletoru. Um, but it's the same material, it has it on the arm instead. And these shirts are usually like at least a hundred and something dollars and they were only 30 bucks. So, I got one in white. This is the same sun shirt as the one that I just showed you guys, but it is burgundy. And I love burgundy, so I got one, another one. Yay! And then I got this jacket. Um, I have one like this in white, but I like this color better. So I'm going to get this one and then sell the white one. But this is also from the Asthma sale and it's super, super cute. And now since I live in a rainforest, these really long jackets that cover the saddle are like worth their weight in gold. And I already had one in pink, but I'm not really in love with the color pink. And I really liked this color, but they did not have it in my size when I bought the pink one. So I got this one and I'm going to sell the pink one. I also got a new neck rope from Little Shark Equine on Instagram. And I really like it. It's brown with a hunter green handle on the front of it. And her, all of her stuff is really affordable. And I also have a 15% off code if you use my Instagram name, SD Equus. So I got this amazing set of goodies from Ecolicious Equestrian. There's some sheath cleaner, um, a detangling like serum for mane and tails, shampoo, and coat spray to make their coats all nice and shiny. And then there's this, which is this is a rinse out moisturizing conditioner for mane and tail. And then this is another moisture spray for mane and tail. And then this is for me, it's um, chapstick. And it smells so good, I've already, I have it on my lips right now. But I'm really excited to use all this because they use natural ingredients and they smell so good. And I've heard really great things. So I'm excited for when my horses can actually have a bath when it's warm enough. I've been needing a new purse for a while and I finally got this James River purse from Tucker Tweed and it's awesome. It can fit so much stuff and it's so pretty. And this is the inside. You can see all the garbage that I have in here. Um, it can fit all my school books and a lot of stuff. So I love this bag. It is so practical. This is the box from the saddle box that I ordered and I'm really excited to open it. This is the first time I've had one. Okay, so this is the open part of it. And they wrote me a card. So sweet. And I'm really excited. I love these. are like really fun because there's so much of a surprise. So we got some treats. All natural. No sugar added. That's good for Milo since he's fat. And they're peppermint, which is a really good flavor. And then we have all of these goodies. Vet wrap is something that I always need. Hey. Basically, this just protects your leather from all types of weather conditions, which is really important because Canada has weird weather. We also, I also got some glycerin saddle soap, which is always useful. I always need soap. And then a super fancy, cute hoof pick. 
I love the handle on this. And I always need hoof picks too because I have a knack of losing them. Aww. We got some cotton candy flavored candy canes. And then there's also a bandana, which is good because I like to wear these under my racing helmet when I have them because it keeps the helmet cleaner since I sweat so much. So that's what I'll use that for. And then we have a lucky groomer, which is a fancy. Easily wins the battle against caked mud, dried sweat, and loose hair. Fun. Milo's going to like this because it'll give him nice scratchies. And then I also got a really cute little face brush. Face brush. I can't talk. So there's lots of fun things in here and it's just a fun little surprise for yourself and you get to try lots of new things. I love boxes like this. And this one has some really good stuff in it. 